Welcome back. You're watching Gravitas. When scientists observed a three-mile-long crack in the Larsen ice shelf three years ago, they expected a large iceberg to split from it and float away. But what they had not expected was that the split would happen in a span of less than three years. Somewhere between Monday and Wednesday, this iceberg measuring around 6,000 square kilometers and weighing over one trillion tons drifted into the open sea. While scientists say that it is difficult to pinpoint the exact reason behind the split, climate change is being seen as one of the catalysts that could be behind this massive glycological event. At the same time, we are told that there is no reason to believe that it would not have happened without extra warming that human activity has caused. Another school of thought believes that the split could be linked to the natural life cycle of the iceberg. Now, experts claim that while the melting of the iceberg itself will not impact sea levels because it was already floating on the surface of the sea, displacing water equivalent to its mass. So as and when this iceberg melts, it will not really lead to a rise in the level of the sea. But what is a reason of worry for India is something called the land ice. The iceberg was holding back a large volume of ice on the ground from flowing back into the sea. But with the barrage now gone, the glaciers behind them will rapidly flow into sea waters, which could eventually lead to a rise in sea levels. It contains an awful lot of ice, and if um, large glaciers do end up flowing faster into the sea and dumping more ice into the ocean, then it will raise sea levels. If you look at all the ice in Antarctica, you're talking about many meters of sea level rise potential. But we're not talking tomorrow. Um, we're not talking next year. It'll, it'll be a process that will take time. Uh, but we think that in places that process has started. So this phenomenon that took place almost 11,000 kilometers away from India could impact the Indian coastlines. According to a United Nations report, people living in Mumbai and Kolkata would be the worst affected by flooding due to rise in the sea level. The UN report further suggests that nearly 40 million people in India are at a direct risk from the rising sea level by the year 2050. Meanwhile, a report by Asian Development Bank has also claimed that India will be at the receiving end of changing weather patterns. The report says that India could be faced with rising sea levels, increasing food insecurity and will have to endure extreme heat. Under a business as usual development trajectory, a temperature increase of 6 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial time is projected for some parts of Asia and the Pacific by the end of this century. Such an increase in temperature will lead to drastic changes. So this is the implications of the 6 degree if we are under the business as usual scenario. The impact will be on the region's weather system, agriculture and fisheries, land and marine biodiversity, domestic and regional security, trade and also the urban development. So what causes the breaking away of icebergs? How are they formed? At what rate is this iceberg melting? And what does the future hold for all of us? Here's a report that we have for you. The world's polar ice caps are shrinking little by little. The Arctic is heating up twice as fast as the rest of the planet, with Greenland's glaciers receding particularly quickly. This process is speeding up all by itself. Melting snow exposes ice underneath, which then absorbs the sun's rays and increases thawing. At the opposite end of the Earth, 90% of the ice shelves on the Antarctic Peninsula are starting to disintegrate. Ice melt is also being observed in mountain ranges like the Himalayas, Kilimanjaro, the Alps and Pyrenees. In the Andes, glaciers are retreating and risk disappearing altogether. Ocean levels are rising due to the combination of melting ice and warmer sea temperatures as warm water has a greater volume than cold water. At the current rate, it's predicted that by 2100, sea levels will rise between 26 centimetres and a metre. Islands in the Pacific or Indian Oceans like the Maldives will be submerged. Densely populated low-lying coastal areas like Bangladesh, Vietnam, the Netherlands and the east coast of the United States are all under threat. 